But squish on me, where you at your motivation guy is back at your boy, the one and only Keith Allen back again to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips to make you guys like the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. Wow, the IO attacking the island. I mean, we have a full scale fight on our hands, man. And so with this new turn of events, many of POI have seen changes and some have even evolved to become more versatile in the age of no building. So we gotta dive into some of these places that you need to start landing on. From getting fast loot to getting away with some killer vehicle. You guys do not want to miss this. But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? Help me out. It's that bunch of crunch. Come on now. Let's get this going. All right, so with Season 2 Resistance, we are seeing something really, really interesting in terms of how this map is divided. If you've opened up your maps recently, then you've noticed that the map has circled certain areas in red and some in blue. And so this is something new that you're going to be dealing with, guys, when choosing your landing spots. And who knows, man, what other effects this is going to have as the season progresses. For now, though, you know, there are a few things that you should know about this new addition. You know, blue areas of the map are controlled by the seven. You're going to be able to find a variety of different seven specific items in these spots, such as as henchmen chests, as well as some friendly NPCs that won't immediately attack you on site. While these areas are currently smaller than IO controlled spaces, we are sure to see this expand over the course of the season. You know, red zones are controlled by the imagined order and they have guards keeping patrol of the area. You don't want to mess with these NPCs because I'm telling you, entering their line of sight, you're going to have them hunting you down. However, there are some perks of landing in IO controlled areas and that's the fact that you can just find IO chests and equipment that you can use to strike at your opponents. Let me ask you this, need help mastering your Fortnite skills, then you guys gotta click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com to discover the latest pro strategies for this season's meta. Get a head start on the competitive season just by, you know, just getting in touch with our pros who can unleash your hidden potential, become a better strategist, master your mechanics, and learn what it means to become a Fortnite pro. You might have also noticed, but blimps are just now present on IO Control Landmark. Once again, check your maps and scan the red areas such as Rocky Reels, Condo Canyon, The Daily Bugle, Tilted Towers. And so blimps in general are good places to land because they increase the opportunities that you have to perform different actions. And so due to the elevation of blimps, anyone that lands on these flying platforms will have a chance to touch ground first. And so this means being one of the first players to start looting and planning out your rotation. So the only downside of blimps is that many players want to land on them, not only are you know they good places to really get started right away, but they offer an easy and quick way to grapple down the POI down below. And so there are plenty of IO chests, which gives you guys chances for blue weapons, but also because there are IO guard NPC here as well. And so you can just get a guaranteed blue weapon simply by killing the guards inside the blimps. And so one of the crowning jewels blimps have to offer is the ability to rotate easily. Okay, okay so as we mentioned before, you can get down to the POI below by taking one of the zip lines. This will get you guys down here quickly. However, if you want to rotate take further away you can always use the updraft you know from the blimp propellers and so these are going to allow you to redeploy your glider and glide in any direction that you want now if you're looking to get somewhere fast then look no further than the blimp cannons these cannons guys are scattered all over the map as well but having them up in the air gives you guys more air time and so if you know the general location that you want to go just mark it on the map then enter the cannon and just use yourself as ammunition and so you're going to be able to fire yourself in the desired direction and within seconds you're going to be up in the air on your way to your destination and so with so many ways to redeploy man it just makes it easier to land on any blimp grab some kills and then get moving towards the circle Okay, Sign Up Station is a pretty good landing spot that will not only ensure that you're all geared up to go, but also provide one of the newest vehicles to be added to the game. All right, so first off, do you know that this POI is in the map? So, I mean, you, you know, you might need to fight off a few players before hoarding those chests, all right? There are around 16 possible chests to really find in that area, as well as slurp barrels that you can use to just cap off that shield. Not only that, guys, but there are enough coolers here, and I mean like right here, to ensure that you have the healing items that you need to survive the mid game, so just make sure you guys stock up. In addition to coolers, Coolers. The location of this POI gives players an opportunity to fish in nearby fishing spots. You know, when it comes to rotating out of the Synapse Station, um, you know, you're presented with a few options. If I'm saying that wrong, Synapse Station. You can use the nearby rifts to transport yourself up in the air and redeploy. Or you can just finally drive the legendary Battle Bus. Yeah, man, that's right. With Fortnite's latest update, we finally have the chance to take the Battle Bus on the road. And boy, does it live up to its name. With the ability to crush smaller structures and deal heavy damage to players that happen to get in the way. The Battle Bus also comes equipped with two sets of turrets that can also help you guys and the entire squad destroy any opponents that happen to get in your way. So if you land here, consider making sure that you eliminate everybody so you can get first dibs on this opportunity. 
All right, Command Cavern used to be known as Covert Cavern. And so with the IO now openly attacking the island and the Seven, this is the heart of the IO's operation. Command Cavern is now one of the biggest POI on the Fortnite map. And the loot is absolutely insane. If you guys decide to land within the cavern, then you're gonna be treated to plenty of slurp barrels and IO chests to come out completely equipped to fight your opponents. Not only that, guys, the amount of space within this POI means even when many players landing on it, you still have a chance to avoid fighting fights altogether if you guys really want to do that. And so with Command Cavern already as big as it is, having a blimp station above only adds to the amount of space to move around and explore. And so with so many nearby POIs such as Camp Cuddle, The Fortress, Logjam Lumberyard, and Shifty Shafts, there are plenty of locations you can rotate to after you're done gathering all the loot. You know, the real beauty of Command Cavern is how it pretty much has everything that you need to start your game right, even if it's too crowded. There are fishing spots to get those competitive floppers that you need, bounce pads for making a quick getaway, IO cars with chunkers with so you can just get to your next POI quickly. Even if you don't want to travel by car, you can also use the updraft and the cannons to launch yourself wherever you need to go. You know, it's just a very versatile location to land with multiple layers to it, something that not many POI can really say that they have. Now, if you guys want to hear something really cool, then let us tell you all about the radar dish on the mountain peak. Oh my goodness. Like if you land on top of the mountain, you're going to find a dish with a control panel on it. By interacting with it, you can scan the area for enemies, chests, and even more. And so this is a great way of just just getting intel of all the possible players that have landed near you as you navigate through this landing spot, all right? And so after you do this, you're gonna need an extra minute to recharge this scanner so you can use it wisely and try not to waste the use while players are still gliding down. Tilted Towers is on the list as well. If you thought Tilted coming back was an excellent addition to Chapter 3, then get a load of this. Once again, Tilted Towers has some of the best chest spawns on the map, but because we're missing building at the moment, it's just a great place to really get high ground and just fire on enemies that are below you. And so with the addition of the blimps, like many other POI, it only enhances what Tilted has to offer. It's close to the center of the map, so you won't always have to rush out when the first storm circle reveals itself. Tilted Towers also has plenty of access to vehicles, so getting where you need to go is easy, but one of the vehicles that you can find here is perfect for destruction. I'm talking about the tank and like the battle bus you can use the vehicle to burst through walls and level tilted towers if you guys need to. This is a great way to start the match if you're looking to get some kills quickly and clear the areas you can loot. So don't be afraid to use the resources given to you guys. After all, without building you're gonna have to get really creative. All right, so before we wrap things up for today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com. For pro level coaching you are guaranteed to improve no matter what skill level that you're entering with. But you guys tell me where you're at, your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word. We got it going down for sure on this. You know, we love to hear from you guys. Remember, this season progresses. We're bound to see changes made. You know, will the IO be victorious? Or perhaps the Seven will be able to push them back. You know, regardless of who wins, you know, we know the island will be constantly changing to reflect the state of the war. And once again, my name is, come on now, you already know, Keith Allen. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Connect with my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Peace.